<gasps> oh, we're back to Connor. Let's go. Oh, we're going somewhere we're not allowed to. Okay. At the table. In case there's anything else around here. Gun. Listen. Listen, I'm chill. What's your problem? Started it. Buy me a drink? So I thought. I thought that was him. This match. Oh, cool. We can look up criminal records. Oh, wait, there's more people. Scan fit. Oh, I have to scan everybody. Oh, I see. Not these guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. What if he's the bartender? Nope. <laughs> That'd be a sick cover. There he is! Of course, he's the lonely guy at the bar. Introduce self. Uh, talk one. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Um... I understand, be understanding. some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Okay, wasn't a good option. Um, let's try to reason with him. I think you should stop drinking. Oh no, no, don't tell him to stop drinking. That's a bad move. Or not. Uh... I have another you know drink. Stop drinking, but uh, well, I'll get eleven road beers to go, Bartender, please. The same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Be getting him plastered wasn't the best idea? Well, oh, he feeling good. It worked, though! It worked! Wait. Isn't that Kara's house? Or is that another house? You wait here. Be patient. You say, oh, he likes me. Conflicting orders, selecting priority. Follow Lieutenant Anderson. I, th I thought he said wait here, and I said okay. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. 
Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. Is the following key to switch camera angle? Left oh, yeah. Thought he dropped by, see what was going on. Yeah, we, well, I think we knew that already, didn't we? Jesus, that smell. <gasps> it was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Okay, no, wait, this isn't Kara's house. It did kind of look like it for a second. It's like really trashed. Worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. Oh, Mel would be awful. Over here, probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? A crime scene? Listen to briefing, review evidence. Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. No fingerprints. Uh, android involvement? Oh, do androids not have around. fingerprints? I think that's something I, I they like would... It's... Like, stall, I guess? Make yourself For this home. reason? I'll be outside if you need me. little too close dried blood uh-huh oh we missed something over here Too neat, no human. It's drugs, right? Red ice. Yeah, this is what the other guy had in his laundry room. We can use drugs. <clears throat> Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples uh, for analysis. How do I look at this? Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Eden Club, come visit us. Guessing that's a strip club? Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. More dried blood. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples then? More dried blood. Yeah, that's it. Android sex officially better. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. Oh my god. Oh wait, I want to read that other one. The result of our survey is in, and it's official. 68% of men prefer sex with an android to a real woman. And with 52% of men saying they've tried the experience at least once, that's a lot of android love to go around. Damn. Uh, there were a few reasons given for this preference, but we think we know the real reason. Androids don't want to talk about their feelings afterwards. Wow. The story was sponsored by Eden Club. Discretion is our middle name. That's really fucked up. That's really fucked up. Um, is your android spying on you? More and more experts are suggesting that CyberLife uses its 120 million androids to record details of private conversations of its customers and sell them to trading partners. Sounds like, uh, 
home automation shit to me. Ever talked about buying that new car while eating dinner with your partner? CyberLife could use that information for targeted advertising. The information goldmine doesn't stop there. Everything from personal indiscretions to political affiliations could easily be extracted and potentially used for nefarious purposes. Uh, the spate of reports linking Warren's presidency to CyberLife only deepens such concerns. Several consumer rights organizations have requested that CyberLife disclose the information it gathers and who it sells that information to, but the company has always refused. Requests for a formal inquiry have gone unanswered so far. Yep, that sounds familiar. Exactly, am I supposed to be looking at here? At angle, maybe? Her. See the window. The window to the wall an android so he definitely doesn't have sweat dripping down his balls okay, I'm, I'm not sure if i'm just supposed to look there if it's something i'm supposed to see but knife missing baseball bat Fingerprints. Vivian took a knife. Was he defending himself? Vivian was attacked. Emotional shock. So the android killed him out of self-defense. Don't worry. No one wants to stay here a minute longer than they have to. Interesting. So he attacked the android first. There's something weird in the bathroom. Just take a look. of a struggle uh is that just the magazine over there or did i miss something i don't think i missed anything okay why not where else where else are we going outside i swear i thought i saw something going out the door Block the way. Yep. Okay. Uh, obviously, I didn't finish something. Wait. Oh, something in here. Yep. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, my God. Twenty-eight knife wounds. He was on drugs. So I guess he took the drugs and attacked the android. Victim fell here. 
Victim was stabbed. They came from the kitchen, we knew that. Now I'm guessing it was the android who wrote I am alive on the wall in his blood. Regular letters, font, cyberlife, sans. Yep. Yep. Thought so. Oh. Oh, one more piece of evidence over here. something do I just talk to him with nine was it that area that wasn't letting me um get the back door again oh I can't go that way I go this way. I can. Bathroom? Oh, oh, there's something in the shower. <gasps> That's of writing. What does that say? A. It's R? R-A something? Religious offering. Third? Okay. Now we talk to Lieutenant. Kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android. Um. Bat? With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. We can, like, fudge the story if we want. Um, the android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... Uh, the living room? The living room. from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim. Uh, with the knife, right? With the knife. 28 stab wounds. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Ethereum. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Search for blue blood traces, okay? Oh, 
I see. Follow the trail. Am I gonna get like jump scared? <laughs> So he got into the shower? So I guess this is a dead end? Oh wait, there's something over here. Is it on the other side of the wall? Oh, nope, here we go. A ladder. Ladder? Please go back into the bathroom? I think it may be like the window or something. But it doesn't look like it. Here. Think. No? I guess that's where he like initially got. Go out that door? No. You didn't go at the front door. Gotta be missing something. Like the ceiling? in the attic and something to climb huh the climb huh table oh the chair yep hey 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 what are you doing with that chair i'm going to check something Check something. Are you about to get attacked? Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's creepy. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I don't want to. Anakin. I had a feeling. He's gonna be behind me. He's gonna be behind me! <laughs> Oh, I just know I'm gonna get jump scared right now. Y'all, I'm sorry if I scream in advance. Okay, there he is, there he is. Fine. Creepy hand?
god. Oh god. Okay. 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 It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Wait, it didn't even give me a choice! Chris, men, get your asses in here now! Come on! I thought I would get to decide! Found Deviant, yeah! Um... There's a whole other tree. There is a whole other tree that we could, like, a whole other path we could have taken. Or what? Wonder what? Um, did we miss something? A couple things, maybe. Hunter knows what happened. Hmm. I guess there's also another. Ooh, there's another option. I'll bet you if we had lied about what happened, something else would have come up here. Okay. That was good, though. That was good. I really like Connor, but I, I'm confused about why he didn't give us a choice on reporting. Um, Deviant. Todd. <gasps> Dinner is ready. Yeah. This has drugs out on the table from his kid? Okay. Freaking love the spaghetti. Yeah, come on. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Turn on the light. Allison Todd? Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And when I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house, what do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. I should have served her first. Think about it. I, I don't want to piss him off, I guess. I don't want him to Sandor take it out on, so on the daughter. Wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. Swear to God, if he hurts her, I'm going to freaking kill him. Took off. Maybe you should stop taking drugs, Todd. Oh, you think? Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Yes! 
Bro, I'm gonna kill him. I know it's her fault. Be Alice. You stay there. You don't tell me what don't to do. Fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. Oh, <gasps> it was him. I knew it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me through, let me through, let me through. Yeah. Oh yeah, we a bad bitch. Oh yeah, we a bad bitch. Protect Alice, yep, mm-hmm. Reason with Todd, uh, no. We're gonna protect Alice. I got you. I got you. He's coming. He's gonna hurt me. Run! Get away, or he's gonna break you like last time. Doesn't matter. Um, lock room. Alice, Alice, daddy's coming. You need to be taught a lesson. We know we can get out through the window, right? At least she was like outside. Um, and it get hurt. Oh, what are you doing? Take him in the face. Take him in the face. She did at least. That's what's important. Oh, I made it too. Okay. Run, 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 run. Get on the bus. Get on the bus. Oh, 
My heart is pounding. Oh my god. Those QTEs are so hard. Oh my god. Maybe I should have used a controller. I'm not as good with a keyboard as I am with a controller. I don't like look at my keys. Like which button? Fuck. The, ma the mouse ones aren't so bad. heart. Jesus Christ, we got out. We got out. <sighs> there was so much more? Holy! Well, yeah, I missed a bunch of stuff, so that makes sense. Um, this chapter, I definitely want to try replaying. Oh my god. Although the stress... The freaking stress. Jesus. Marcus! That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Love Carl. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers. The schmoozers. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch, neat as usual. Absolutely. Oh okay, heck yeah! What your doctor would say. <clears throat> yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. I'm an adult. I can have cake for breakfast if I want. Did you leave the light on in the studio? Uh oh. No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. No, no, you gotta wait for the police. Marcus, no, or I'm gonna come with you. Uh, no, you stay here. I'm going. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Leo, look who's here. My father's plastic toy. I don't want Leo. Carl to get hurt. No, no, no. What's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all going to be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, Asshole. get away from there. Get him out of here. Uh, three. Listen. Advise. You should go before things get worse. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? I'm not good enough for you? I'm not perfect like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? Stop, Where's stop, got stop. That? Leave him alone. No! Uh, come on. Let's see what you got. Marcus, don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't do anything. Okay. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Ugh, stop it. What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo. Stop it. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. <gasps> Let's decide for myself. And you're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you. Endure. Away. Nobody's gonna give a shit anymore because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. I don't know if that was the right call. 
No, I want to help Carl. I want to help Carl. No, 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 shit. Carl, no. <gasps> Should I have punched him? Oh, Carl. Oh, he was fragile and ashamed. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. I mess up? Don't let anybody. Tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. <gasps> no. Dad. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. Are you freaking kidding me? <gasps> the android. Who's the android? Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. What if I had punched him? Thank you so much for watching episode two of Detroit Become Human. This game is getting obviously very, very intense. Um, I'm very much looking forward to continuing this and seeing what happens with our three fave androids. Don't forget to like the video, comment, uh, or subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoyed this playthrough of Detroit Become Human so far. I will be posting a new episode once a week and can't wait for y'all to tune in. Also feel free to follow me on any of my social media. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter. TikTok. I have a Discord community. I also stream on Twitch. So if you're into that live content, feel free to come and hang out. We would absolutely love to have you. Just let me know that you came from YouTube and we'll see you next week for more Detroit Become Human.